Good afternoon. We're going to have a very interesting topic today. Let's wait for some people to join. We are expecting over 300 participants throughout Lithuania. It is very exciting to know that so many people are interested in this topic. The topic is very relevant and I hope that after today's seminar we will help them to either understand or receive information and apply our advice in the practice, which is also what we have done in the past. That path wasn't very easy. No one gave us any clear formulas, but we were just looking for those things to keep our dogs in the best shape. And now about that practice. Could you imagine that when you started breeding dogs 30 years ago, someone would have sat down and said, there's a formula for success. What is needed? How much easier would it have been with the puppies? You probably could never think of that and you could never even think about it. And what made me probably do what workshop uh, is that people come to me from all over the world. They attack me with letters every day and I want to help them. I can help them, but I just don't have time physically. If anyone in my life had helped me to do that, then maybe 10 years ago I would be sitting like as I am sitting now. But the fact is that it's fun that people ask and fun that I can share that. Because these are proven practices and proven facts. That is probably the most important thing. And I think it is very important when speaking in this subject is that the right people are being asked questions about white dogs. Because there are a lot of myths surrounding white coated dogs and the advice given is not always right. So it is very good that most people here uh, find such a target audience where they have results, where the facts are really verified. I think it will really be very useful for everyone. That's right. You touch a very good nerve and a very deep one. And today will probably be the ones that dig deeper. And what is important is that you will have a chance not only to listen to our experience, but also analyze the material, which was prepared not just for the two of us, but with the help of our team and see if this practice applies to you or not. I would say that since we are going in deep, our goal is to give deep and informative material, which is gather it and that there is a chance to learn from it. As Eve had mentioned, and it is probably very important, is that you have who to turn to, the concentrated opinion of professionals. I think that 30 years of experience working with white-coated dogs, we can say that we are very experienced specialists, not only in Lithuania. Our experience is probably global. The result can be achieved with other breeds and coats of different colors. Let's start. Who we are. Obviously, we should understand that we will be talking about white dogs. But the topic will touch not only white dogs, uh, but also allergic dogs, because white-coated dogs tend to be allergic as well. My name is Janita and my last name is Plunge. Our daughter, Eve Plunge, is a veterinarian and I have asked her to join us so that uh, she could give her insight as a vet because she also works in our kennel. At the same time, she works at the vet office and interacts with a lot of clients, not mentioned that she has accumulated a lot of experience, not just personal, but along with our entire vet team. Yes. This is where we start today. And perhaps the most important thing you should do is to take notes for yourself during this workshop. And I understand that we are not here to teach you. We gather it here to teach, but to pass our experience. The experience which we accumulated over 30 years, how we live and how we work with white dogs or with sensitive dogs, because Pomeranian Spitz are extremely sensitive dogs and we have faced very great challenges when we breed them. This workshop is for people who want to learn more. If you know everything and you don't have any questions, then this workshop is not for you. 
But if you want to learn more, something new today, then you came to the right place. We have already introduced ourselves. My name is Yanita, my last name is Plunge, and our daughter Eve. And today is probably important that we're talking about it. Today we will talk about our story. Anyway, whenever a reader reads a lecture or shares a thought, it's very interesting who he is and what is he going to do here. That is what I can tell myself for sure. And I'm really not afraid to introduce myself and our story. The second stage will be what our experience is and namely the white code efficiency system and products. I want to mention this again, that white coat is not just for white coated dogs. It is for sensitive dogs as well. But because we work more with white dogs, we are considered as white dog experts. We just call the seminar white coat. And the third stage is our vet, doctor's advice. So let's start. So who we are. It was more than 35 years ago that my dog Kika entered my house, which was a little poodle. And to this day, you can write a lot about this story and write a separate book. But having a dog that love, I just ch- it just changed my life. If you turn to me to discourage your children from buying a puppy, it will be your worst advisor because I know the dog changed my life when I was 15. It changed my life from start to finish because uh, of today's start, uh, it understood me. It was my best friend that I wanted to take care, great care, uh, which I loved endlessly, insanely, to whom I devoted all my life. And it led me to unlimited knowledge, unlimited possibilities, namely how to love an animal, how to take good care of him, how to trim him, what kind of food there is for it. Not only that, it has opened up endless opportunities for me to get to know new people, to get to know like-minded people. And that dog is truly the cornerstone of my life that has turned my whole life around. My specialty is electrical engineering. I graduated from Kona's Polytechnic and to this day, after putting my diploma on my parents' table, I went out to live the life of a dog. Keep in mind that this was 30 years ago and I had to sacrifice your life for dogs. It was just unusual because such specialties did not exist. Now there are handlers, now there are groomers, such specialists did not exist. It was an honor for my parents, just a nightmare. My mom called and cried on the phone. She said, sweetheart, how long can you run around the dogs? Go back to normal life of an electrical engineer and just go to work at the electrical network. I said, mom, I won't do that. If necessary, I will leave the house, sleep on the windshield, but I will live my life with dogs. I do not know where those trains came from, because as I said, there was no such culture. You could write a separate book here, but today is not about that. And someday maybe there will be a book about that. And what happened next? What happened next uh, was that I, when I grew up, my children lived exactly like that. They were surrounded by dogs and why dogs have been in my life for 30 years. Here in the photo, you see my son Totvidas, who is 27 years old at the moment. And these two white dogs, Cupid and Cortens, who came from Holland and little toy poodle from America, even then in those days, I was completely maniac, obsessed with the dogs. I lived in a rental apartment. I had a child, 24 square meters in the apartment, but my dogs were the most precious. My honeymoon in my first marriage was to buy a white dog. You probably didn't know that. No, I didn't. 
The second wedding gift was a parrot. You probably didn't know that either. So I was a completely insane person. Uh, they lived, uh, lived in the rented apartment that had no car, but dogs cost as much as two cars. And on the sofa, the dogs sit so comfortably. Yes, yes. And the kids are crawling too. In a world that what my life was like and my kids, all the kids, they grew up with dogs and they just had no choice, which I think made them much happier to this day. Thus, who exactly am I? Still, you have to know because I know that there are all kinds of legend. At 16 years old, uh, while studying technical school, I was already a groomer. Because the purchase of a dog at 15 years, I lived in a family of workers. And it is a poor family with three children. And I was not able to pay 15 rubles a month for a cut. My father earned 200 rubles with night shifts. And my mother, 70. This is to imagine how big the prices were. But still, I managed to save some money and hired a groomer and asked to show me how to groom. And since then, I've started grooming. People on the street started to stop me and I became a groomer. Clearly, that wasn't enough for me because everything in my life is never enough. I need to go deeper. And then I started wondering how to train a dog. I became a, a trainer. At the age of 18, Carlos Vasilonis offered me to become the head of a club. Then I was 18 years old. Uh, with the independence of Lithuania, we formed a Lithuanian poodle club and I was already the president and the first person to bring together all Lithuanian dog lovers. It was really a very beautiful organization and a big one when I was in it. And there were really a lot of poodles. At 19 years, uh, I started uh, teaching others how to work. And that was probably more important in my history in the event that remained a statistic that at 23 years, I became the youngest judge in the international category, as you can only be admitted to judges at the age of 23. My experience has ranged from grooming, coaching, creating breed development, uh, poodles, teaching others, mentoring and judging. But to this day, I have chosen the breeder status. And who we are today. I'll tell you a little bit, a little bit about chronology someday. But 30 years later, who we are a family which raised five children. The youngest is 12 and the half. His name is Ajalas. Our daughter are two veterinarians. There are Eve and Camille. Eve is with me today. My son works with animals, some work. Others are still learning. The little one is still in school. But pets are no strangers to their lives and they can't imagine it without them. As you can see, this is how a family of insane people spends their mornings and winters. We live this way with pets, and for us, it is a daily routine. If you ask me today how many dogs I have, I will tell you there are 25 dogs in my house today. But that doesn't mean that uh, something won't change tomorrow, because I can decide and bring more dogs from the kennel. I can still change because uh, our, a lot of dogs live in our friends, families, with relatives, in that sense, I can't imagine bringing another quarter tomorrow. And I can add uh, here that these parents are not kind of that will say, oh, you have three dogs. Hmm. The reaction is, oh, 23. Okay. Well, yes, this is what we are like that. Uh, and where has this life with pets has brought us? It brought us to know the dogs. We know that they need. We saw what they needed. And our hobby, it allowed us to create products for them. The photo is not about our business. 
It simply shows the life with pets, the desire to be better for them. And it has led us to the place that we started developing products to make their life better. And I just think there should be respect for Kika because Kika is a dog. The first one that is not my first puppy, but a puppy that changed both my history and probably my family's history in Lithuanian history. Because the name of the puppy gave birth to Kika retail change. The company Kika, Kika Group, which uh, to this day is an international company, and the story that from a little girl we grew up into such a company. Kika deserved to be represented, therefore there is a monument for her at the company in our home. Clearly, uh, she is in our heart all the time. And anyway, this is my very first dog from which it all started. So who we are in 30 years? Very brief statistics. This is the 30th anniversary of the company this year. The company has about 620 employees, more or less, because we're growing too. Who we are? We as People who love animals have a kennel that is Toro Kennel. We have Aquatara Factory, which produces pet food. We have a chain of stores in Lithuania and Estonia. We wholesale and export the products to 50 countries around the world. Also, we distribute about 70 brands. It's love for animals, knowing that they need and what their needs are delving into them to this day has allowed us to build a big enough business where the whole family really has something to do and we're still looking for good professionals because we want to create even more. As the saying goes, it's not about the business a day, it's about our experience. This is our kennel and thank you for my husband for understanding my love for pets and that I would bring home a hundred of dogs and had enough strength, wisdom, finance and build three huge kennels, three great buildings where our champions live. Many have probably seen our kennel. If you haven't seen it, uh, just write down in the comments for some reports or we'll invite you as a guest. We are very active. Monica is waiting for all comments behind our back. If you don't hear anything or have a question, please write. Monica is online and will definitely answer you. This is the house of our champion. And we, through our 30 years of experience, have released more than 1,300 champion titles to the world. That means we have 1,300 champions. To make it a little bit clearer, we know we really didn't have time to count everyone, but those big victories are world and European champions, American champions, uh, wise world champions, uh, are very important and we have managed to win eight world champions, nine vice world champions, 11 European champions and 13 American champions. This is probably what everyone can rejoice in reading, creating world champions. Because those victories are just, as some might say, a way to show off. But I think those victories are a proof that we are very, very understanding what we're doing. We know what dogs need. We know that the standards are. We know what the rules are of the game. And we try to match them or make them even better. This is our Torah kennel. These here are our champions. We just wrote it because I know a lot of people check what we say and uh, it pointed out, you missed this, you did that. It is who we have just told you that after searching any dog, you can find out what that dog is and what he has done and what he has done. These are our most famous dogs. It's probably the most famous anyway, 
One of the most famous Bichons in the world is Tora Misoko. He has his own separate story and very soon there will be a brand. It is already being developed precisely because this dog, he has really entered the history of Bichons. It has 59 champion titles, two world champions, American champion, represented Lithuania in the top 10 of the Ukanaba Challenger. It is a very impressive dog, but I could talk and talk about it, as they say, because I really like it. And my husband could talk, but in any case, as they say about Misoko, a separate book. Another book. How many books have we said? One. Not the second, the first. What? Kika Misoko, more should be written about me. Another, no less impressive dog is Tora Milano. Probably a lot of people know that too. This is the first dog in Lithuania to win the Bob at Crafts. It has won Junior Bob and Bob. He is a European champion. He holds around 27 champion titles. He has become a top dog in Lithuania. Next, Tora Thunder, also European champion, worldwide champion, American champion, and 23 champion titles are from Maltese. And the next that we could rejoice is Tora Stradivarius. Tora Stradivarius is a Pomeranian Spitz who was bred as dual color and as a dual color dog he made a great career. He really is a very nicely composed dog and the fact that he has over 18 champion titles shows that he is a very very serious dog. And I can say that back in this year this dog in America stands in the 23rd place in the American ranking in the Pomeranian Spitz category. If Misoko is ranked 5th in the Michon category in America, it was 7th last year. The Stradivarius is 23rd. It's knowing uh, what the breed's abundance is and what the outcome is. It's really an impressive dog and America really talks about it. And friends write to me. But now he is at home with me, back after his career, after COVID in September. So he lives with us. Let's continue. A 30 years of experience have allowed us to develop throughout constant study, observation, drawing conclusions, the de development of a code efficiency system, and the products developed for them. These are the white-coated dogs we breed. That's probably very clear. Who doesn't know, uh, we'll just introduce ourselves again. This is Bichon Frise, Maltese and Pomeranian Spitz, who are of different colors. But I am a maniac and the color itself, although it is a very hard breed and I want a very white and a very red and I still have a black genotype in a sense, I'm interested in all colors and I'm interested in really real gene pools what interesting can be done and done very well. COVID has helped me in a lot of sense because we could not run around the world and just concentrate and not only read the seminars for you, but also just concentrate and make good frames where the kennel would move forward. We return to the white coat. What exactly affects a healthy white coat? As far as we have looked, how much we have analyzed with our doctors over so many years, we have come to such a decision and we tell you from our experience that 80% it is the diet. 20% consists of daily care plus veterinary care. It requires a lot of discipline. And I can say that gives a 100% result. There is no problem that cannot be solved if it is solvable. 
you can write uh, you can write it down for yourself today and when you start saying my puppy is so special with such a special allergy so awesome and etc i will tell you that there is no case in this topic that is impossible to solve it is just the owner's mind and discipline in the mind clearly the baggage of knowledge and adherence to discipline and the head of the owner that is very important but since the people who i think have come to listen to us uh, really as a higher level conscious people who want to get more knowledge who want to understand more i think they will take advantage of the result instead and take advantage of that experience of ours and they won't need 30 years to either to go through dogs or go through a lot of practice to learn discover the same truth we already discovered or we already dug up from a fellow breeders behold and this problem is very common in the white coated dogs yes i say a white coated dog is just like a litmus paper it will immediately show if uh, someone gave the something from the table or something is wrong to give and missed a day of hygiene you can immediately see it on them although other dogs have allergies as well it is on the white that we are most likely to notice them and since uh it is a trend now that the neighbors will point their fingers and you and tell you that your dog is sick if it has brown stains around the eyes in the case of white coats we tend to react very quickly but there are still countries and i still get a lot of messages from people from england and ireland that even vet doctors say this is normal and so should be for white coated dogs i can say this is abnormal it is abnormal here and it cannot be but note those that have other breeds tears and dogs should be white and uh, there should be no leaks and this is already in the form of fungus or is becoming a form of fungus there are no healthy things and that is why i called a veterinarian today so that i would not be telling fortunes from coffee grounds and i cannot say that uh, i know it all so a veterinarian will also explain it to you 99% of white coated dogs have this problem but know that other breeds and other colors have it as well only it cannot be seen so prominently on your brown or black coat so what is the biggest challenge for a white coated dog breeder or owner in any case it is managed uh, so that the dog would have clean eyes and will probably start analyzing what the diet is because i promise you today that we will dig deep If we are already bothering you then just write please round up and we will just leave the material for you and then you can start study yourself. We will definitely leave the material. Thank you for your patience. But I'm a person who in principle if I dig I dig deep. If I choose nutrition then I put the pedal to the metal. Uh, get to the laboratories to, to the vets to the doctors of science uh, to whatever you want i'll dig deep dig out but i'll come with the best option talking about this topic what is nutritional exactly people often get mixed up in regarding nutrition nutrition is everything that falls in the pet's mouth don't divine your nutrition This is the biggest mistake uh, when you say diet plus supplements plus chew treat. No. Nutrition is everything that falls into the mouth. Chew treats, treats, food from the table, a hot dog served by a grandmother or a child fallen with squid. This is nutrition. Only the feed should make uh, up 95 to 98%. 
and treat plus supplements up to 5% if we want our pet to have transparent tears and transparent tears show what? That he is healthy and there is no extra dye. Extra dye or bacteria. That's right. Remember this formula. You can write it down today. You can take a picture of it or you can just uh, turn the record off and remember this slide that the feed is all that falls into the mouth. Next, take note. The food, it is 95 to 98% snacks and supplements. So moving on. A common question that a lot of people ask and I say, do white coated dogs need a specialized diet? Eve? Yes, of course. There is not even a question here. Because again, as I mentioned, the first show what is wrong with them, some mineral that is too much. This is definitely why they usually need a specialized diet. It's white coated dogs. Let's remember they have potential allergies in the first place. We can take we can make a connection all allergic dogs. And the statistics are as follows. I can tell 30 years ago when we started these potential allergic dogs were still white dogs and red dogs. But for black dogs to be allergic, it was not a possibility. There were black, the strongest gene pool. And after 30 years, a change in the gene pool, the changes in the situation, eating habits and etc as well as with people, parallel information appears in the current statistics. So 80% of all dogs from the masses are potentially allergic. The difference is that it either is visible or not. What I'm leading it to, and you having a dog that is healthy at the moment, you have to have information so that whenever it comes up, you can control it and not rush to the vet for a shot or reach for the pills because these things are easily handled. What are the most common allergies? The first thing to keep in mind is that a dog is usually allergic to protein. When you pick up a feed and you can see that there is chicken fat, you do not lose your head. It is a fat, it does not cause a reaction in the body that causes the allergy. As strange as it may be, the biggest allergen is beef. Beef pork protein structure is very large and the body captures is an antibody of some sort, something that needs to be attacked and it causes allergies. And even fever allergies are caused by chicken, eggs, soy, and other allergens can be very specific. Even rabbit can cause allergies, but there are definitely very exceptional cases. What about grain? Grain, uh, more and more grains are starting to cause allergies. Just as humans now have more gluten allergies, now see more and more gluten allergies in the dog world as well. Again, barley, wheat are the main greens that cause the most allergies. That means if we look at people, we have to go on the keto diet in either way. Yes, so to speak. Uh, those trends go hand in hand with those for people. And when you have a dog, what causes an allergic reaction? This time we are talking about food allergies, not about dust or fluff of some sort, but about food allergies that appear throughout the dog's body. And how uh, can you discover them? It may be redness in the first place. There may be itchy skin. There are specific places. Let's say they are licking their paws. Brown coloration in the tears. Uh, brown coloration on the face. There is also ear wax in the ears, tearing of the eyes. Changes in the coat structure. This may indicate an allergy. You may have one of those uh, many signs we have listed, but still this will mean that your dog may be allergic to, to certain feet. 
and can be their allergy only from the feed. No, allergies, as I mentioned, can be endless. There can be an allergy, allergy for a variety of substances. Skin allergies may occur. There may be spring allergies to pollen. It will be allergies in the face area. This time, let's talk about just the feet. The allergies are very often sorted out by changing the feet. That is how we find out that it is not an allergy to the substance. There is no seasonal allergies or the like. So do I understand correctly that now we are talking about the uh, 80% of our formula for success is about the feet? But the other part that can cause allergies or some kind of itching, we'll talk about the next part, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, and uh, how do choose allergies manifest themselves? It was a uh, photograph and here are real examples of symptoms caused by dietary allergies. There are, of course, drastic options when it is not treated, when there is no food chain and even up to such examples are available. The most common question is how to transition on to the new food. It is strictly prohibited to change which to another food suddenly. Your dog may get diarrhea, vomit. It may be completely unsuitable for him just because you suddenly switch the food. So even if there is the right food, but it is included in the diet incorrectly, we have a lot of problems. It is shown here a short diagram of how to move, usually for four days to the correct feed. Will Yanita add nuances to me? I'll just add from my experience, I can see how people without understanding where the tear stains occur are changing the feed every week. Or mix three into one. Yes, and it must be understood that the feed is not an antibiotic with respect to our food and it cannot work so quickly. And if the dog is allergic, Switching the food back and forth can cause serious problem. It's at this point when I see exactly what's going on in the forums, uh, when they change, 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 that makes me scared. What would I like to say? If you find a feed that is right for you, just stop. Trust the manufacturer and don't change it anymore. The unconditional change or the argument that my dog is fed up with food is just in your brain. When a problem occurs with itching, scratching, and where the whole family can't sleep because the dog is scratching itself, uh, suffering, howling, and etc., then other things arise. And I can say that the most fashionable and the most popular trend now for the treatment by doctors we send uh, a doctor to Moscow training is allergies. And it turns out when allergies are left untreated for a very long time, is a, it is a very money-making business. Be careful in this situation. Because it seems, oh, it's just an allergy, we're used to it, right? We take a tablet and we are all right. For a dog, allergies do not go away that way. You will solve it with a tablet. Uh, if you sell down all on allergy tablets, it will take between two and six months with a very expensive tablet and there is no guarantee that it will help. And when you stop them, you will never use those pills in your life. From our practice, we are telling, uh, giving you a solution of how to prevent the risk of allergies for your dog. Let's continue. I want to add regarding the pill treatment. Very often a person says, my dog is scratching, give it a pill from the itch. This is just a relief for a symptom. We're not solving the problem. So everyone needs to understand that the cause needs to be found, not just execution with the tablets. Yes, 
Well, we probably have to talk about white formula. We have created for feed uh, white dogs, namely for white dogs. What was the path of creation? We developed it for five years. We worked with a group of scientists, veterinarians, technologists, doctors, for whom this task was simply, as they said, an utopian. They said it is impossible. But I said, I'll put together all my finances and as much as I have, but if I have a kennel, I have a factory and I can't make myself food uh, with great masters. It's just an impossible mission. God still probably let have the opportunity to do it, to do something to change the world and the stubbornness in me, the work of those five years, uh, their Thousands of dogs participated, 26 different breeds. We have taken different hematology parameters. We continuously performed nutrient research, gave the score as the first, namely why dog feed was born to this world. And for you to understand how long it takes to produce a formula to see the result, minimum 12 weeks. That means you can't see right away, like on the next day, all is well. This is a lie. This is not true. People who buy food want to get the result the next day. Know this, only antibiotics can do that, and that's for a very short time. You will extinguish the fireplace, you will not eliminate the cause, and you will have the same problem. The antibiotics will expire and things will jump up again. It is at this point that I want to say that it takes minimum of 12 weeks to see if the food works or not. And so we work for five years to get that result. Okay, let's move on. And right now in five years, in more than 50 countries around the world, thousands of dogs confirm this effect every day. This is not some panacea. There may be some individual cases, but I can say that uh, where the seminar continues to develop uh, where we will lead, it turns out instead that good food alone, namely antiallergenic, it's not enough. We need to talk about what food is, what are the ingredients, what the supplement is, uh, what the ingredients are, what the snack is, and uh, what is the veterinary care? From here, we will deal into the very, very deeply. I just want to say and rejoice. Well, for me personally, it is a gift. Every time a person writes, ask, receives that result, he sends and he is happy. Thank you for those confirmations over and over again from all over the world, really. And Lithuanians also claim the same thing. Of course, Lithuanians know how to be happy quietly. Can't announce, but are happy quietly. And thanks for that, for the fact that we have helped someone. And then we can contribute. It's really 65 million servings, servings of the feed a year of white dog around the world. Being happy and sharing the story of their experience so other people can see how it works. And indeed, when I work at the vet office, when it comes to dogs with brown stains around the eyes, uh, where the breeders say that it is normal to have a white dog with brown around the eyes, uh, which is absurd, uh, the combining food and veterinary measures, the results are, you know, incredible. And it's good when a person is disciplined enough and already has those good tools to have a great result. Of course, we cannot place everyone in this category because there are endless, endless endorsements from around the world. But if you follow our Facebook page, Nature's Protection page, Instagram, then you will constantly see how the world is ranging and what's going on there. We are really very grateful. We are in favor of the increasing volume of this food, which is just proof that it works. Yes. 
and in the 2020, the entire feeding system for white-coated dogs was supplemented and developed. A starter product was created, which is the first grain-free starter, and it is with salmon and krill. And there are two juniors uh, for young dogs. There are three products for adults. And the prototypes are already being released soon. They are already working. They are really working. But since uh, it takes time to release the package, it takes time for you to test. You can test the product for two, three years to get the result. But it takes time to bring the product to life, about six to nine months. We are on the road uh, where the products are approved, but it will take time as they will come to life. This will add to the system. And uh, I will probably ask myself a question because I often get asked, who are you creating here for? So it doesn't work for you? Actually, I can say grain-free, that system, it works great. But in practice, I can say that there are products with white fish that can solve the problem at 100% unless there is one super complicated case and uh, what diseases occur. But a human is a system where he or she always wants to hack. It seems to the person that the dog is tired, that he needs something new, something to taste, I see we have our inner group Toro Kennel with uh, 1,500 members. We have international groups, House of Torah. We have a lot of socializing with such different groups. And there I see people write, no, my pup didn't eat today. Two kibbles were left. What I can give him an additional. It's at this point I can say the fact that our technologists, our vet doctors, food professionals are looking for new formulas, more effective, but we are already solving issues with existing problems. But anyway, we're going to go and develop new products for people because uh, we, need to, we need more flavors uh, because they somehow look like this all the time. Well, I eat it three times a day, all the time differently. This puppy has eat different food too. This is the point and our task is probably to create such a system of food, feed, snacks that the animals could eat safely and the person would feel good. Both the animal would be healthy and the human would be fine. You said it very right here. Because usually that need is not of dog, but for human. It is very good uh, here that a person will meet his needs and the dog's need will be met automatically. In a word, new foods are coming out fast. And perhaps we should discuss how it works. How did those Lithuanians here sitting in the Pishkis with their dogs come up with the idea to create that food? What are they doing here? Since a lot of myths are floating about us in Russian forums, it is a very common myth that uh, we put antibiotics and they passed all these myths there. I can say that uh, we are talking about raw materials first. We'll talk more about raw materials, but the right sources of protein, grain-less formula and supplements. There are no artificial chemical elements A natural composition of the highest ingredients, which supplements the ensure a healthy life for the pet. And I think that with all kinds of antibiotics, we really in the European Union would not really pass all the requirements. It is at least on this basis that you can rest assured. This is the European Union. But if anyone knows what the veterinary requirements are in Asia and know how they inspect every load and what they do, uh, believe me, people there don't eat as much dogs as have to eat. We're moving on because we really have to do something. That's how it came to us. And we're marching towards the grain-free side 
that's a side of the keto diet. If in short, and at the bottom left, you can see our primary product. It is still a leader, but a new generation is created for white-coated stutters. Two adults are created with salmon, with the white fish. Two juniors are created, and they work much better. Why did we choose the grain-free direction? I can say so much, but uh, we'll be later in the side. The source of protein, Eva. Uh, what is your, as a vet doctor's opinion? That's what we talked about before, and what protein causes allergies. And we've now discovered, well, maybe Anita has discovered, the proteins that the best meet the needs of white dogs. And these are salmon and whitefish. Whitefish at all is specialized in that fish itself does not have pigment that could provide pigment for tears and other things like hair exchange pigments. And here, you can also read more about the benefits. And speaking further, this unique product in general is krill. Here are the top three things that to go into our white dog feet. This krill is special in that it is a very sustainable, very useful protein for dogs. We will talk about it further. Then there is the microzeogen which is again a very unique mineral that has infinite, infinite benefits both in the feed and on its own. And the food also includes the highest quality ingredients. There are ingredients that are of the highest quality and according to human star standards. This is not the highest ingredient in the dogs. This is the highest kind of ingredient according to human nutrition. So when it comes to krill, what makes it so special? This is because it is found in only one place, Antarctica. It is very rich in omega-3 and omega-6, which are amino acids. They greatly straighten the immune system. And what about the krill you can find? There is a link inserted as to why it is so valuable as unique as one place. Furthermore, its production is strictly regulated. Again, this krill comes to the human tendency as if I know well. Yes. As a unique protein and the source of omega-3, omega-6, do you know anything else about krill? You can see krill already in human nutritional supplements. It is six times more effective than salmon fat. It is better absorbed and the synthesis of the liver is quite different. But here we would go to such a big seminar. It is the link that is given. People get to know more there. But the fact that the tool is very expensive, very, very luxurious and is in dog food to this day really shows that we don't spare our pets anything. Yes, really so. And yet, uh, when it comes to superfood from the ocean, it's krill, even listed here, an effective source of omega-3 choline, a staxamine that is a very good marine um, origin protein, which is a part of our white dog formula. You already switched, uh, but we've run very fast. We really don't want to blur your information, but we put this information for, for you to read because there's really a lot of good data to look for and you might never find it. But there is a material to read. You can find this krill that, uh, and use for yourself personally for health. It is very useful. Omega-3 acids are eight times higher than salmon fat. It is 2.5 times better than regular fish oil. There is a lot here. And choline is especially important for muscle function, memory, liver health. In that sense, uh, there is superfood, luxury. But you also think about your health, not just the health of the pet. The next trace element is... Yes, this is a microzeogen. I actually really like this ingredient alone personally. 
It is also very unique both in its structure and in its own origin. And it include uh, and it's included in the feed. It can also be obtained separately as a supplement, and I will tell you more about how we apply it in the kennel. And another one, uh, one of those things we applied to is the story of Via. This will perhaps tell you how the microzeogen is related to Via herself, the poodle that I have had. There was a chance in life, even though we, we know there is no such thing as coincidence, it's Via. She lived with us for a long time, but after the birth of our second son, she just decided to traumatize him. And for two years, we have tried to come to terms with that. But the child just flew around the rooms as we would turn around. And my friend then came and offered to take her. She said, I'm retiring. Uh, give me her. You're torturing yourself here and uh, you don't uh, recall I would her and that child somehow. And with a broken heart, I gave her away. We care for the dog, we groom her, uh, everything was fine. And when she was 15, my friend Berute, may her soul rest, says, you know, she doesn't go up to the fifth floor. Do something with that dog, take it. And we went, we took Via. Via couldn't walk, she was gray, had bald spots, the smell of death came from her, the specific smell of an old dying animal. And she had a very strong cataract, she was gray, she couldn't walk, she would pee herself just by climbing over one step. In that sense, the dog seemed to have a week or two left to let. At that time, we worked uh, out nature's protection formula with scientists and they said, give it a microzeogent. They told us a lot about it and every day I started giving her microzeogent. Somehow that circle of work, everything turned very fast. We noticed that after a month, Tora says, you know, she climbed at work. Torres took her to work, to meetings, because it was such a duty that the dog had lived with us to have a sense of peace and everything else so that she would not be alone, so she wouldn't suffer. Torres took her to work, and he says, look, she just climbed through me. After a couple of more months, we noticed that she started chasing our small dogs. She doesn't get out of the car anymore. She... She's already making plans. Well, and what do you think? After a year, uh, we and Via started going to shows. And who remembers Via? This is a dog that has won several veterans' best end shows. What happened? What made us pay very close attention to the microzeogen? The dog has fully recovered. The cataract was gone. You can see her here after her recovery. Take a look. She was left with only a gray color. The hair has grown completely. She became a black dog. The joints are completely, completely straightened. And then we drove to Croatia to see Pavelic, uh, namely for the zeolite microzeogen. And I asked, what happened to that dog? What are the wonders here? If I could, I would have taken a photo. I would have written a scientific paper of how much it works. But at that uh, time, I didn't have any experience, nor am I a vet or a doctor. And the daughters were just enrolling or dreaming of becoming a veterinarian. He told me a simple thing. The main thing that the microzeogen does, it pulls out all the toxins. When you remove the toxins from the body, straighten the bones, the body recovers itself and it regenerates itself. So to this day, Avia lived her two and a half years of being healthy, black, full of fur, full of life. She laid down and died. In that sense, the great poodle lived for 17 years. Anyway, uh, this story is described 
we have uh, described it but made it it made us think and uh, after conversation with Pavlik we began to use it at home gave it to the children ourselves and microzeogen has a lot of benefits that we want to talk about so what's that microzeogen Eve talking about only where it is ex- extracted from uh, the lava falls into the water condensate foam and kleptonolite are formed it is uh, that foam of volcanic origin and its chemical structure is very unique it detoxifies and binds calcium ions to the body much better and still contains silicon these are all those pluses and even more which may, we may not even know yet how much it affects the body. It is the kleptonolite, uh, it is a microzeogen. I would probably still like to mention that kleptonolite, uh, there are only two places in the world that I use for medical purpose because we use food of medical origin. In that sense, only two places. All the others we have heard are placed in machines, placed in drying machines. Kleptonolite is widely used in the industry, but of medical origins, there are really two places. And as for the extraction of toxins, it can be remembered for Chernobyl when kleptonolite was poured into the rivers after the Chernobyl explosion. It was used to extract toxins. This shows what a strong mineral it is and what its strong functions are. I can say here not on the subject completely, but only on knowledge. When Pavlik and I had a lot of discussion about this particular volcanic rock, he has his own institute in Croatia and the institute employs nine Nobel Prize winners that work only with this substance and work only for Japan on radiation and all these things. Develop products only for Japan. This is another place to think about here. And you can say we follow fairy tales here. Uh, I ask, if it's so good, why don't we use it? Why isn't it in the pharmacies and elsewhere? That was one answer. Medicine isn't interested in this material to address so many issues and it will be closed as a single ingredient in five years. It will only be able to use in compound because the goal of medicine is to synthesize everything and to throw natural things out. This is what actually happened, but not about it now. We continue on. We'll learn vo- what a microzeogen in- is. And yet the material that you mentioned in the microzeogen, zeolites, what else is important? It also contains silicon. It is also extremely important if you want to maintain the bone structure. It is only in the case of Via that you can remember that she started to walk. The toxins were extracted, but also the silicon and it helped to straighten the joints. Ligaments also stimulate the body's defense system and again coat color. Silicone affects so much alone. I personally, about silicone, of course it will be talked about when we come to supplements, but what can I say? I have a number of cases where the life of the people whom I whom are in the wheelchair had already been appointed complications, very famous people, in fact, uh, postpartive complications diagnosis, wheelchair after a failed surgery. Silicone, our silicone saved lives and a man walked on his feet. There is more than one case and after heart surgery, doctors sent silicone. It is natural silicon and it makes all blood vessels more flexible, including the heart blood vessels. It happens again that we take that death again and others think, here we go again about white coat about silicon, but uh, we are so deep. This goes on. If anyone is interested, write. 
Write us about silicon right now in the comments. Monica will get links. Or if for the material, we will do a separate seminar, a separate lecture, because we can really speak here for three days. And more about this preparation. We have the same cliptonolite, which is a hard stone. And how do we do it? This is a dynamic activation. It is such a special machine that grinds it without breaking its chemical structures. And in that case, it is activated. And so it turns into microzeogen and it is ionized. And that machine was bought by my husband so that if you put it simple, uh, unground, not micronized, its effect would be different. And I persuaded and my husband bought the machine. It is insanely expensive and we grin this rock specifically so as not to change the formula. And that ionized ground mass we add supplements and add to feed and use at home. I have buckets everywhere in the house. And all of my closest friends walk with the buckets and we drink cliptonolite, zeolite, microzeogen in the morning and evening. You can find microzeogen with calcium in our range. Why with calcium? Because as I mentioned, calcium ions bind very well to an uh, already ionized structure. And it improves the observation of calcium itself much more. You get two birds with one stone with this product. And where did we use microzeogen in the kennel, a doctor? We use both inside and on the body to treat burns, wounds, cut nails, masks. But maybe we should still structure it somehow because when we say from everything, it then seems like nothing. Uh, let's start with probably the most important things we use. It's the diarrhea. Nevertheless, let's face it, we grow complex breed. We talked about supplements here as a specialist and forgot that we breed dogs. And yet we remember that we are breeders and it is often the, the case with small breeds that dogs begin to have diarrhea. It is first and foremost a stopper. The removal of toxins and the cessation of diarrhea even for 10 to 5 day old babies. Well, here's a separate topic, how much we use, how we use, but we use it. We use, for example, after food poisoning, if you feel bad or you feel nausea or something like that, we suddenly give a microzeogen to shed all the toxins. Then puppies have poisoning or, for example, go for what, snatch something, ate something, you give zeolite in the first place. We will show you how, how to use it. Wounds. Uh, you need to know that this medicine is in the NATO pharmacy. That if there is a wound, put some powder quickly and that's it. And there's no bleeding. It thickens the bone. I, for example, was trying to measure bone density and was told, looks like a woman with age but the bone density is unreal. In that sense, bone density is very important. I personally, uh, my children are very tall because my husband is very tall. So I raised them with uh, zeolite to make their bones dense. What's exactly the way we get out of anesthesia after surgery, right? Improved digestion and namely to improve nutrient observation and nutrient metabolism. And also because it contains calcium, uh, it also improves and is very useful during the period of tooth change when the, the need for calcium in the body is higher. What do you need to know and how to use? Yes, here are some ways you can use it. Some put it uh, on the feet, it is moisturizing the food and also pouring in the powder we mix and so on. But when there are emergencies, eating something, poisoned, diarrhea for several days in a row, then we put it in a cup. 
a spoonful of uh, microzygen, add water to the consistence uh, of sour cream and pour directly into the dog's mouth. It is almost impossible to overdose with it. There is no such word as almost. Impossible, I told you. Yeah, well, there will be harder stools there. But that is another issue. Except for that, it will definitely be impossible to overdose because it's a mineral, a rock that removes toxins. It's for treating poisoning of some kind, diarrhea, you can give uh, boldly and safely, really, directly into the mouth with a syrup. I'd like to add personally about the side effects because when I asked how much can you use it, in what amounts, Pavlik himself told me, you can't overdose. I say, how can you not overdose? He said, I have rats that feed on zeolite alone for two years. And rats always practically die of cancer. They're prone to cancer. He says, for two years, they don't get any other food. They just chew on zeolite. And they don't show any sign of cancer. In that sense, it's, it is very good on an empty stomach in the morning and evening. If we talk about people to pull out toxins. And what people can see very quickly is that it reduces acidity. If someone has reflux, know it, it works great right away. And as much as the microzygen has helped me personally, I'll go share my experience, it's go out. After the third child, I had go out terribly leg pain. Uh, something went wrong with kidney function and so on. And you know, my husband sent very expensive drugs from America, nothing helped. So, you know, it pulls uric acid out of the blood, pulls out all the toxins. I live like a new person. And I know a lot of people are suffering. So just know you can solve code with this thing. And to add more regarding those highest quality ingredients, it is again salmon hypoallergenic white fish in addition that it is a certified meat base. If you remember, we said what our feeds consist of. We first talked about krill, superfood. Second, we talked about microzygen. And third, about the highest ingredients. So in any case, we have to mention in it in order to precedence because it is precisely the ingredients of the meat. And there are other ingredients. Yes. Here you can see flax seeds, sweet potatoes, and peas. As we mentioned, there are the highest quality ingredients. And now, again, we get this, uh, we get this question so often. You buy the feed and ask about the feeding guide. There is an instruction that you can read on our packaging. Primarily what you see in the protein source. If it's grain-free. There is also the composition of the feed, the main ingredients, and the confirmation of the goodness of the composition, as well as whether the feed is a super premium. And I think one of the most important parts of this is the feeding recommendations. Even if you give super food, uh, super good food, super premium class, even by giving it too much, you can again cause allergies. It is necessary to focus on those rules and you will have a healthy diet with nutrients, beneficial nutrients and a happy dog. Well, in any case, we have to admit that the nutrient system starts with the mother, starts with the baby. Here are all the children. All our babies born here and we have a huge lab where we can test and we keep data on three breeds. We look systematically at what's going on. You can just see how food has an impact on animals life. I want to tell you very briefly about the starter. This is the first grain free feed. I was looking for a starter and I'll explain why. 
At the time of creation, this feat joined the last wave because of the Pomeranians. Small breeds generally have big problems when growing because there are problems with the fontanelline, problems with the underdevelopment, many, many other issues. Medium to large breeds will never understand what is going on in mini breeds. It is clear that we will not understand what is happening in the large breeds as well. But if you look at the Pomeranian, this is a particularly difficult breed. I needed to come up with a I needed to come up and create such a feed in which I would see how the development proceeds correctly. First, when mom receives the right dose of additional substances, not additives, but building materials to make her feel good and to make her children feel good. This is the practice of our kennel. We kept statistics and observed. If you're a breeder, you can use information or just listen. That, for example, the normal survival rate of Pomeranian is read by everyone working with the Pomeranian about 20%. Because this is a breed that either difficult to mate or to give birth to. If you give birth, it's hard to grow. If you grow, then three months of turning points. Well, it's very difficult. For example, with this feed, we increase the ratio from 83% to 86%. Almost a normal dog. What happened? Curly Bichons, we have statistics like that, and Maltese Bichons are up to 99%. So what happened? First puppies are born the same size. It is the Bichets, uh that uh, survive more and recover faster. That is, if a mother has a large litter, she gives a lot of herself. It is very important for us that she gets better quickly, does not go bald, does not have problems with bones or teeth. The lactation of bitches has improved signif significantly. Observing the fruit, it grows steadily and evenly. And what is important in males, I do not know, perhaps the owners of males are now listening. A huge trend has become the lack of sperm. Lack of sperm. In that sense, at first they are young and have the sperm, and then suddenly the sperm starts to disappear. To this day, we check the semen of our males every three months, but we saw that uh, with the grain-free formula, the quality of the semen is much better. It improvement 20 to 60%. And this is what the great master says. Great masters, veterinarians, everyone else. But since there are different discussions in the groups, one thing and uh, then another, he speaks quietly. But the masters argue that it is the keto diet, and this is a grain-free diet, balance, that has a positive effect on the male sperm. Pay attention to this, and if you run into problems, you can try. And now we come to the treats. Remember what treats are. Treats are a part of diet, which allows them to be consumed up to 2 to 5% of the daily intake. Why? I pay great attention to this place. I receive a lot of letters from you and they write to me. Listen, I'm feeding your food. Basically such text. I feed uh, your food. I only treat uh, you with the treats. I give one rabbit here a day, one strip to chew, five rabbit hearts, and five pieces of duck. Do you understand? In addition, there is a misunderstanding of what is a supplement and what is a treat. The difference is huge. However, we need to piece together the files and the structure for ourselves and understand that the supplement, additional nutrient, should be between 2 and 5%. It cannot be 50 plus 50. 
I will translate into human language. Well, you know, I follow your diet. I eat only green peas. Everything else is green. Something, the pie and duck broth by my mother. Well, maybe something else appears. This is what I'm going to talk about a lot of philosophically about, especially about nutritional supplements. What do you need to know about supplements? How much is available and what do you give? The supplement cannot be just a treat. We do not feed our children with kinder surprises alone. Do you understand? We feed children to keep them healthy. And if we want to give them candy or something like that, we try to keep them healthy and beneficial. It's the same with animals. It's the same with us. I will be very strict about treats here. Specifically because the problem I see today is huge. People out of love for pets and a desire to show love think that more treats they give, the more they imagine the love is. Unfortunately, this is not the case. Love is convenient in other ways as well. But treats, treats must be chosen wisely. I'm not against treats, but I'm for quality treats. And what's more important about treats is understanding what they are used for. This is to establish a connection. If it is a young dog then for training. You just need and can use the treats for their intended purpose. Let's try to figure out why we started producing treats. We started precisely because people think if it's a natural bulk cock, smoked or dried, then everything will be fine. Unfortunately, I have to say that after analysis and testing, testings, believe me, and Uh, participating in exhibitions, we have derived such a formula that treats can contain rabbit, duck, hearts, fish, everything. And instead of all of this, we created such thing. But I would still advise against going beyond the 5% supplemental nutrition formula we talked about. And maybe in this place, you can still mention hooves, which are not included in the line of these delicacies, but they do not crumble and are very useful for the teeth. Yes, the hooves are good uh, if everything is white. But if the red light comes on, brown tears float, and we will talk about the treatment, everything will have to be stopped. And as we can see, uh, new products are coming soon. So we just uh, want to talk about these new products. We have built a new treat factory here too. I had uh, such a provoked thought when people began to massively feed pets with anything. I thought that uh, it was necessary to create a new generation, a new generation of functional treats that not only give pleasure, but also give a dose of vitamins and minerals, which will be grain-free, improve the digestion process to prevent the inflammation of stones, healthy skin, coat, healthy joints with omega-3. In short, uh, a treat should be beneficial. I myself was in America. I saw in which direction people are moving Uh, namely in the combination of vitamins with sweets, even jellies with vitamin A for babies for sleeping with something else. The idea is that uh, when you give a treat, you immediately give the animal a good dose of vitamin minerals. These treats will hit stores in two to three weeks and you can find out uh, about them on our page and about the additives. So a frequently asked question, what are additives and why do we still need to create them? You? Here, you see supplements. They should also make up to 5% of the diet. And they are used like this. You give when the pet feels the need for it. If you feed your dogs super premium food, no, com- 
no coat complaints, digestion is fine, no additives are needed. Have just in case a micro reagent for the first aid or if there are special needs, sometimes they have to be given. But an excess of vitamins is just as bad as a lack of vitamins. Let's say if there is a less pigment in the winter. If, say, you see a slightly poorer coat quality, then we can certainly add supplement. If a young puppy is changing teeth, we can also include the diet in calcium, mineral, phosphorus, simply by helping the puppy to change teeth. Minerals and vitamins are included to just help as needed, which may arise because every dog is an individual organism. Here in a nutshell. We will not stop there. In the lower left corner, there is a link to supplements. We have a line of supplements and soon there will be a really wide range of new supplements. It will be very interesting, especially for lactating bitches and young puppies. Next, uh, what is the first aid kit uh, of our kennel, daily and travel? Also a common question, or a question that I would ask people who are going to travel with puppy. The puppy ran away, ate something uh, or, did, or did not eat because of stress, and then the owner goes to the first doctor who does some manipulation either in this country or somewhere else. It's probably about the money, but there is a security issue. We brought you our basic home kit and essential travel kit. Here are our top supplements worth reading about. We will detail it in process. This is silicone. Amazing. My favorite silicone, which helped me to get up and move four times faster after the opera operation. This is the Fogis, in particular from Microzeogen. Read about it too. Get this supplement for yourself. It is truly an amazing tool, but human pharmacies do not have this yet. The silicone will, will be absorbed so quickly in half an hour. And more about that, since it is a pure silic acid, it is indeed common for, uh, for people from pharmacies to go to Kika for this product because people in pharmacies do not even have it in a pure form. Again, this seems to be for animals, but in fact, a very, very good supplement for humans. This is a human product. Only what our current pharmaceuticals have not yet released or does not have. As always, we take pets more seriously. What are the main questions people have about white dogs? Can you get a completely white coat with natural nutrition? I can say that with the examples I see it is possible, but personally I cannot afford it. Firstly, simply because I'm a very busy person. Secondly, I have a lot of dogs. And thirdly, the seasonality of time will not allow me to constantly fix the same product. I mean hot, cold, and so on. I am very responsible about food. I need a stable source of vitamins, minerals, stable raw materials. As a result, I feed with dry food. Is a natural diet possible? If you have time, this is fine for you and you are really confident uh, about that you're adding all the vitamins and minerals you need. Because just feeding cottage cheese, fish or whatever is not the right diet. The diet should be complete, comprehensive. Anyway, very often people come and say, I eat mostly beef, chicken, breast and so on. But you must remember that you need the stomach, lungs, liver. They all have different functions, as well as the vegetables. You can also give fruits. You will need an endless amount of knowledge to put together the right diet, as it is, uh, it is not enough just to give meat. If everything is done responsibly, it is possible. But again, this requires an infinite amount of knowledge and time. Are the vitamins needed? 
As I said, if there is a superfood, additives are not needed. But if there are special needs, we can always compensate for them with vitamins. Personally, we give supplements to expectant mothers from the fifth week and give puppies up to two months, especially if the litter is large. What treats can you give and how much per day? In any case, everything should be in uh, moderation. White fish, tuna, rabbit, duck, salmon, lamb. And when mixing delicacies with dry food, the proportion must be observed. Now, strictly what is forbidden? No smoked bones, no treats made of incomprehensible red meat. Very often, I see how bones from vegetable glycerin appear in the farms, which is not at all clear what kind of thing is this. I would still avoid poultry and beef. We shared our opinion. The choice is up to the people. So let's continue. In our experience, this particular efficiency system, 80% is what we already talked about. Let's move on on the second part, daily and veterinary care. That's a subject to discipline, really gives 100% results. This brings us to the second part, which I promise will be no less profound. We will not touch on uh, all the topics. We will give, leave you some homework to read. Otherwise, we will finish the seminar in the morning. But we have collected from the bottom of our hearts as much material as possible so that you can study everything. It's residual value and ask us questions. We are ready to answer all of your questions. Well, the second part. After all, this is, the, this is daily and veterinary care, which we mean you can perfectly feed, take care of the feed, take care of vitamins, take care of treats, and not get the desired result. Why? Eve, can you comment? Okay, so we can start with the fact that our team in the kennel is big enough and I have been working with white breed dogs for over a year, which seems to be a completely different field than the regular dogs or cats. This is a completely different specifics. Over the years that we were able to study and find out, we already have 80% of the correct nutrition. So what should we do next? You may not even know, but water infinitely affects the pigment of the eyes and tears. This means if your home has hard water, which contains more iron, and the excess iron is extracted from the body through the liquid. This is the iron that enters the body with your water and is released through tears. Again, it's your choice or you buy soft water with pH of 7, and then you give your dog this very water. I think you will see uh, the impact in a couple of weeks. Also, start giving additional microzygen, which removes toxins that the dog has already received, and after a couple of weeks, you will see a difference in the composition of the tears. This seems the least likely. The water in Lithuania is really good enough and is drunk from the, trap, from the tap, but very often such cases do happen. Lithuania is actually included in the top 20 in the clean water in the world. However, there is indeed an excess of iron in some places. I personally, I can say we stepped on that bomb twice in the kennel. After that, the best equipment was installed so that in addition to feeding, bathing and so on, we did not stumble on the iron. Because there are some uh, currents, some things, and you cannot simply give water to the animal without examining the water. That is not visible on myself. Rust will not run down your face. And on a dog, it can be seen very quickly. And we started doing research there, from which there are consequences. And it was the water that we found an excess of iron. 
And this is really very pure water, only with some excess of iron. Then, one of the most important things is eye and ear hygiene. The eyes and ears are connected. And if you don't clean your ears, there's the fungus, ear infection, parasites, we will immediately see the result in the tears. First, if the eyes are watery, open the ear first and check for inflammation. If the ears are clean without eye hygiene, plus may build up. Further, bacteria accumulate and then conjunctivates appears, which again makes the eyes watery. Hy hygiene should be daily. If the ears are clean, you don't need to clean them every day. Clean them only when suffer builds up. But this should be strict and this is infinitely easy to follow. I really believe that hygiene should come first to keep the eyes clean. I still want to talk about the eyes. More importantly, notice that when you visit forums and groups, people also, uh, often write eye tears much less in the winter. Yes, because there's no dust. Remember, when you go for a walk and dust, pollen rises up. But I've heard that many people do the same. They allow you to swim, jump, drink water on any lake with the greenery. Remind me if you like to tell you an interesting story about Misoko. Uh, if I receive 50 applications, I will tell you one story of a world champion that can be written separately. Some of you may not be interested in this, in this at all. But it also has to do with taking care of the dog with experience. In this sense, it's not just a funny story, it is a useful story. And don't forget that if you go out for a walk, your dog won't have a chance to wash his eyes when he comes back. Just pick up and sprinkle the Torah mist. It's not a problem. In short, the point is that you have to understand. When you go for a walk, if something gets into your eye, you can rub it. But the dog cannot. Itching appears. The dog starts to itch. She begins to develop conjectivities. And again, all over again, we have a very st strict discipline in our kennel. Spray twice a day and at my house, you know, nannies work and we wash our eyes and look at it very strictly. Is it time to tell the Misako story? No, no, no. The story of Misako later. And now... Clock tears ducks. Yes, now let's talk about clock tear ducks. Because in our closed group of Bichon, there were indeed several cases where they were clogged and flushing them solved the problem. Now, what is it causing them to clog? There are, first of all, the steps that we have to take so far. Maybe there, there were too many delicacies, maybe the wrong regulation of food, and then there was conjunctivities, that is, inflammation. Clay may not be applied correctly, and etc. The reasons are endless. And then the tear ducts are clogged. Tears cannot flow normally, and eyes are constantly watering. Anything else you would like to say about this? Two very important things. I would like us just to learn how to diagnose the same thing. You know, but I want people to understand. One thing, when a dog has white tears, it shows that the animal is healthy. Only something happened to its eyes. But if the tears are brown, this is an, an internal problem. Do you understand? We must learn to dis discern. A profuse lacrimation comes out of the dog's eyes duck, uh, but the tears is, are transparent, then the dog is healthy. But something has happened to the lacrimal duck. Or for example, a hormonal response. But we have to keep an eye on the eyes because this can be a form of massive of oxidation of white tears. 
We'll talk about this later, how to stop it, but it needs to be diagnosed because people see this trail and say brown tears. I say, give me a cotton pad and see if it's brown or not brown. If brown, then there is one recipe. If it's white, then there is another recipe. Yes, very correct. Preventing parasites is still extremely important. Here you have a sample photos of skin parasites as well as ear parasites. And as I mentioned, ears and eyes are infinitely connected. The parasites cause discomfort in the ears. Itchy ears have a heavy discharge and discharge from eyes. Do not forget to constantly carry our prevention. Clean your ears. And if your pet comes into contact with other dogs, be sure to inspect it. Spray it and clean its tears when you return, and as, as this is the very unpleasant for a pet itself. And you know, these are not uh, those seasonal ticks. There are sumptuous mites, ear mites, and to this day, for example, in the kennel, we follow very strict rules. We periodically make a vicious circle. We do not spend a day without it. The calendar works. The program work forming a closed cycle. Because you need to understand that what is happening in the nature. You see mutations like COVID, right? We see one variety, another variety, third variety. Keep in mind the parasites are exactly the same. You know how it was before, 10 years ago, 5 years ago, 30 years ago. Parasites mutate efficiently, quickly, and for this is better for them the, not to create an environment for reproduction. What does the feed and the prevention of parasites have to do with it? Cases from life to this day, people are turning with comments. We have been feeding your food for many years. Look what problem started. And we started to dig deeper. We found that this is an open, open cycle of parasitology. And it was not prevented despite the fact that it was winter, deep winter. Ticks are subcontinents and ear. They are not afraid of this and live in ideally warm fur coats where they take root. Therefore, be so kind. The prevention of parasites like skin, uh, worms and so on, you must do. And I can say that those who write in these groups that parasitology has nothing to do with current tears, it will tell you. Go back to the textbook, study, discuss, and go through as many dogs as we do because we are passing a huge number of dogs and information from the, from the, around the world through our kennel. This is where you need to follow the entire chain. Food, supplements, treats, cosmetics, and so on. And if you don't follow these chains, your circle will fall apart like a sandcastle. Prevention of parasitology, you need to adhere very strictly to both external, external and internal. Right. And if you have any more questions, you can definitely ask them what tools to use. And also you can target our group of Bichons where we share more specific examples. Below on the left is a link to antiparasitic drugs if you want to. And if you want to ask Eve questions about parasitology, Eve is waiting for you in her office. You can find me in the group of Bichons where I answer questions. This is a closed group of dogs of the Toro Kennel. Or you can find me at the Kika Veterinary Office located in the Mega Trade Center. We give advice on feed, parasites and other various procedures. Okay, let's move on. And one of the most uh, accurate problems is the conjunctivities. What is it? It is similar to inflammation of the conjunctivity in humans. 
You can see this by pulling back the lower eyelid and seeing such a bright red color. It even looks sore. Naturally, uh, the mucous membrane should be pink, so light, but when you see profuse tears, brown discharge, perhaps as in the photo, swelling of the eyes, this is a severe conjunctivity. And how can you avoid this? I repeat, this is a regular cleaning, proper nutrition and hygiene. And all the time, so that you do not have to run to the doctor and wait in line there again and pay again, you need to have measures on hand for washing. As we said, there must be a microzeogen in the medicine cabinet. You should also have eye pure mist in your medicine cabinet to cleanse them immediately and avoid problems. We are definitely for the vet doctors. There are six veterinarians in our kennel, but I am for normal care, which the owner of the or the breeder can take care of. There is no need to say that it is complicated procedure of some doctors. Doctors need to heal and we need to raise healthy dogs. Yes, and in my case, prevention is much better than cure. I totally agree. Again, very interesting. Teeth are also associated with watery eyes. This is especially true if the dog has a large plaque. And if there is a lot of plaque, it causes inflammation of the gums and watery eyes. Again, you can do all the steps correctly, but if uh, there are stones, they may be watery eyes. And very often, really infinitely often, we see in the groups. My puppy's teeth are changing, his eyes are watery. That's right, they really can water because the same duck runs from the eye to the nose and changing teeth can also irritate him. This is natural and if you have a small puppy, if he is three and a half months old, he had perfect eyes. Starting with three and a half to seven months of darkening, I can almost guarantee that if all other steps are taken correctly, it will involve replacing teeth. And until your puppy's teeth fall out and they don't change until then, this can happen. Immediately after this period, you will be able to see that the darkening begins to fade. And I would say that uh, not darkening, but tearing. But with the darkening questions already arise. Or a lot of moisture and oxidation. If you see that after applying a cotton pad, it turns brown, I would advise you to solve these problems with the help of microzeogen and so on. Yes, in this case, everyone needs to be watched individually, but really growing canning teeth often cause more tears. What else can cause watery tears? The simplest cause is eye injuries. One of the things, I don't know if it's clearly visible in the photo, is atopic eyelashes. There are very small eyelashes that grow on the inside of the eyelid. Hence, uh, they are always irritating to the eyes. They are very small. Imagine a piece of sand in your eyes. Indeed, the whole day uh, there are tears in the eyes. Do you know what I do? You know I'm stronger than you. And for example, when a dog has eyelashes or hair falls out of his eyes and they say to me, look, my puppy is crying. I take my hair tuck it in my eye and say, how do you feel now? You always have to think. Well, very simple. That is, if you want those eyes not to water, make sure nothing gets in the eye to keep them clean, well-maintained and free of foreign matter. But these atopic eyelashes, especially in spits, are common and can be seen in very good light. So don't be afraid to don't be afraid to examine your dog, open the eyelid and find irritation. 
Also pay attention to the eyelid itself for scratches, as this can also affect the tearing of the eyes, because if there is just a physical scratch, it can certainly irritate the eyes. It naturally tries to heal itself with plenty of fluids. And about looking, uh, don't just run to the doctors. Learn to see yourself. Here in the group, we get comments. How scary, how painful it is for him and so on. Does it really hurt though? Like with kids, you cut nails and that's it. Look into the eye. An eyelash falls into the eye, you just do it. Exactly the same here. In that sense, you are the owner. You have the knowledge, you just do it. The eye should be not scratched, but it should be treated by a doctor. Yes, and again, it is said that the lashes are very painful to pull out. Their structure is different. Their bulb is a isn't as firmly and stretched as those beautiful top lashes. So if you can pull it out very carefully, you can try to do it yourself. But if not, you'll know where to find me. And going on again, one such reason for calmer tearing may be hormonal changes. Stress, including hormonal changes. Because the hormonal change is probably stress. Yes, when the hormonal balance in the body changes, I notice it with Malaga, mostly there is, a, there is much more butane discharge from the eyes during her heat. And again, I don't manage to clean so much. And that redness appears. It's during the heat, before the heat stage, and a little after the heat, the eyes can really tear a little. And as for males, if they are not castrated, they smell the female. Increased testosterone production releases more cortisol, and this not only leads to a complete metabolism, but can also lead to increased tearing again. Even if a neighbor is rowing in an adjacent yard, your male can really feel it, and you will see from him an increased tear that it it is female heat. Yes, in fact, stressful situations like changing the environment while going to the wet, changing the environment, here the issue of socializing can give heavier panting. And heavier panting as the eyes, nose and mouth are tied cause more tearing. And our job is to see if it gets wet with the transluent tears or brown. Because there is a way to stop oxidation. And there is a way to eliminate the cause of brown tears altogether. We go to daily care. Thanks to the doctor who will really put the material from our practice from the practice of all of our doctors. It seems like maybe sometimes we talk usually about teeth, I can tell you. There are chats and forums writing that plaque has nothing to do with brown stains. I can say, think logically, think simple. The eyes, nose, mouth, ears are one common apparatus. That is, if at least one of them is disrupted, then stress begins, and all that tearing and oxidation begins. It is in this place and clean teeth are needed because microbiology has to be there. The ears must be clean. They not, must not be red, not be painful, not too hot. And the eyes must have white tears. We have to oversee all of this in order to have that good result. And the result of all of this is not only that my puppy is white, but because he is healthy, he looks good, and I feel very good because I am cool. I know how to take care of my dog. I am a pro. I know how to take care of my dog. That shouldn't be the ambition. I am disciplined. I am a good owner. I know what is best for my dog, and I will do it. Well, let's move on. What is daily care? 
I can tell you to this day that uh, in daily care, there is something that can also cause allergies and it's cosmetics. And to do this day, uh, we have tried almost every cosmetologist in the world for almost 28 years because we had to try. It seems that when we, when I was buying a new one, it would solve it for me, solve it. We realized that Mary Poppins would not come from the sky and help with magic note of how to take care of a dog. We started to dive deep and watch uh, what those cosmetics had. We have not found a single cosmetic line in the world that addresses our issues. We have three breeds, meaning falling, rising hair, double-coated dogs, and we need something for shows and between shows. We've seen uh, what happens if shows when the dogs are burned blue, purple, green, and all sorts there. What they're burned up for cosmetics. We have seen from our own experience how the coat falls off even from the use of wrong cosmetics. And we set ourselves the ambition that we want a full product chain and we want to dive deep into cosmetics and figure out what is it. And in any case, we have created a line of cosmetics which is now further developed and new products come out that is, must necessarily be a natural composition. My perception, for example, of diving into these waters had changed infinitely. Because I realized one thing that could shock you, but I'll still share it because you have to think about it. Even if you don't fall asleep for a couple of nights, it's very healthy. Because it's not just about the animal, it's about you. Is it possible to use such cosmetics that we put in our mouths? We don't think very often about it. We think that hair is somewhere up here, but that the substance we enter the scalp in two minutes and enters our blood, no one thinks about. But by digging deep, something can be discovered. I mean, we have to understand that we can feed good food, good supplements and use parasitology, but if we use the wrong cosmetics, not natural, with chemicals, with parabens, with all kinds of silicones, with everything, we won't learn much about today because separate workshops would be needed there. The depths of the topic are as follows. It is to this day that we must understand that the uh, We must use what we put in our mouths. Shocked? Yes, I was shocked in the exactly same way. But as far as I understand to analyze, I understood that all the best masters say the same thing. With essential oils, with cosmetics, with all, you have to put it on your head, uh, what you can put in your mouth. Because whether you put it in your mouth, whether you put it on your skin or you put it on your scalp, you put it in your body, which goes into the blood, everything, full answer. There cannot be aggressive ingredients, and we have said that we do not mask the problem and promote excellence in coat growth and maintaining healthy skin. Often, no one talks about cosmetics, it's healthy skin. We're talking about coats, where we run to shows or one that foams, etc. We need to be literate people. Just like we talked about food, we start talking keto diets, such proteins, such everything else. But about cosmetics, you know, such a close niche that little is said about. And instead digging into the depths, we discovered an infinite amount of useful material in discussion and etc. It turns out that you need to know both the good ingredients and the bad ingredients and what they bring. And today I'll still give you that stuff anyway, so you have at least some time to read. What is hair? Realistically, we all have damage hair. Damage is on the left side and damage on the right side. What can damage the hair? 
The first thing, a huge thermal change. We now live in a warm home, it's going out to minus 30 to minus 20, that's a thermal change. Hats, the wrong cosmetics, everything else means it is damaged hair, dyed hair. We, we women know that. This is damaged hair. Hair that is uncut, it's a damaged hair. If we braid hair, what is it? All damaged hair. It's a situation that we always have to strive for a healthy hair structure. It is like striving for ideal health. We must always strive for it. What are the active ingredients in our cosmetics? These are silk proteins. Everything is natural. Shea butter, keratin, which is constantly lacking. Natural oils, natural extracts, urea, pathentol, which promotes hair growth. I'm talking too much. Somebody needs to stop me. Another slide. What do we need to know? Here, this slide, you have to promise me that you have to study. Silicone free. What is a silicone? We need to know what silicone is. Think about it. It gives an artificial smoothness effect. When we use silicone cosmetics, it seems to us that the hair is very smooth, very elastic, covered with a film of silicone. Can you imagine? But what's going on? For example, put a cell phone bag on your head. It can also look very nice because it's neither too hot nor too cold and etc. But when you take it off, the fact is under the film, it turns out and nothing breathes, nothing is absorbed and nothing happens. You see? And there are already big questions in this place. Can you imagine? There is no coat, hair and silicone overlay, well plastic, so what's left of it? Nothing. SLS free. What is it? It is a strong artificial foam that irritates the skin and closes pores, dries hair, causes dandruff, weakens the hair fossil and contains carnicogens. That means what's going on? We'll put it in two parts. We take the silicone, put it on, wash it with the foam beforehand. And what is a paraband? It is a synthetic preservative that enters the body through the scalp and goes directly to the brain. It can cause allergic reaction, redding of the skin and even disturb the hormonal balance. This is a very serious statement, scientifically proven. It was at this point that uh, when we analyzed what it was, we talked to scientists, technologists and said, oh my God. So here we have a lot to deal with. We need to go. What can we give that is better? And we said that no matter how much it costs, we made natural cosmetics because our dogs have to always be good. They need to be in shape all the time. They need to be good in shape at all times because whenever whoever is watching us on Facebook sees our dogs competing in America, others in Europe, others in Russia, we must always be in good shape. And we told ourselves that we would learn how to do that. After two years, far, not too far, we move on. With the interest of in cosmetics, we started using precisely the active ingredients. This is silk protein. Now, I won't name what they do. I'll leave you a homework. Pathentol. A very important thing. B5. Heals, moisturizes, softens, restores the epidermis. I'll stop somewhere. Increases fiber strain, supports a security barrier, straightens hair, or wheat protein, you read it. The ingredient is also extremely important. Next one, urea. You laugh until, until, yes, it's urea. It is a special substance extracted from the urine, uh, which is a natural moisturizer used in a very expensive cosmetics and specifically promotes skin regeneration and healing. 
But in fact, if under all those tales, urine was used everywhere and so on, it is good to put on scars. Yes, you know, it's an expensive ingredient, but we really use it. She butter, keratin. Keratin, we all know what it is. And it is always missing. There is always a a shortage of natural keratin because of all kinds of physical useless movements, we just break and just lack of keratin. What uh, are the other benefits? So very shortly, uh, Dulit 1 to 10. That means it's a Dulitable Cosmetics Uh, There are two product lines, a third will soon appear for white coat and all colors of the coat. And there are 65 millimeters, 250 millimeters and uh, one liter. Next, how do we use it in the kennel for daily maintenance? What do we do every day? Here's a formula that you can use for yourself. In daily care, we really use it and uh, what we do with a dog every day, eye and ear hygiene. We use this pure mist and if it gets very watery, stainless look. Stainless look is not used alone. We first clean the eye, then close the tearing. Once a week, we bath the dogs. We bought all the dogs every week. Those of you who raise spits, uh, my dear ones who tear me apart in that forum, that bath the dog every day, because all the foreign specialists who work with this breed are well aware that the, the big problem with pumps is the wrong regeneration of the fossils. The weak spot of this breed. And we bought it both Spitz and Maltese and Bichon. We use a system where during the first wash, we clean without aggressive ingredients. The second wash, we introduce a function, keratin, shea butter, and so on, and conditioning. That is, we seal with natural beneficial substances. And once a week, our dogs that are personal, I might say, have ozone treatments. Everyone. I'm very glad that a lot of people in the world and in Lithuania uh, buy the ozone bath, perfectly understanding what it is. And this is also a separate biggest topic and etc. But we are maximalists. We dig deep. We have ozone baths in all the kennels, in all the salons, and uh, we are, of course, having fun with our dogs. I can say the result you will see later on on the seminars. If you're interested in the topic, because it's not a deep one here, uh, well, great death, but a lot of practical things are needed. Just write, I want cosmetics workshop, and we might prepare another workshop. And now, let's move on. Daily maintenance. About our Torah prayer mist. What is it? Was it what is the story? The story is that for seven years, I imported alkaline water, pH 11, from Japan, so I could have healthy dog eyes. But in parallel, I hel- it helped me very well because we were raising five children. It helped me a lot to spray the child in the throat because then very quickly relieved a sore throat. In that sense, lightning speed runny nose, everything else, and etc. This is from Japan. To figure out what is Japanese, the bottle costs 60 euros. I used to ship those bottles for my dogs and my children like a maniac. But the time came when I said to my husband, listen, why don't we build a factory or something? Because maybe we're building too much of this, we're buying too much of this stuff. And my husband... Torres is my husband, bought the technology. An expensive technology that we used to get the same result we bought in, in Japan. It is a natural alkaline water that is 100% natural. 
It has no side effects. You can't get addicted to it. It kills 99% of bacteria. We can't write that due to the regulation of the European Union, but the Japanese regulations allows it. Next, we use it in the ears, in the eyes, in the mouth. We use it with cosmetics. Why use with cosmetics? Because alkaline water increases the cosmetic ingredient effectiveness seven times, don't be fooled by this. If your cosmetics contains chemicals, it will make it worse seven times. If it's natural, you will improve it seven times. We disinfect the whole company live with pure mist during the first of the COVID pandemic. We share it, bath in it, spray it, and we lived happily. And we helped our friends. Next, it has an antitistic effect. Very good for the coat, ear hygiene. And what else can I say? Where I personally use it, you can read more about it on the right side of the page. I personally use it in the morning till the evening, as it contains 10 more moisture than water. This means that its formula is reworked so that when I use it with cream, it puts the cream on me in form of ions and moisturizes the whole face. That's right. That's why we use it very widely. How did we check it? How does it work seven times better? This I can say very simply, European Championship. I think it was in Prague. Uh, it certainly was the Czech Republic. I can't remember the city. Ambassador then became the European Youth Champion. We decided we needed to whiten him. And, that, and just that alkaline water. And we say, well, you have to check if it works or it doesn't work. Well, of course, the biggest tests always have to be done before the biggest shows. We took a whitening shampoo for half of the dogs. We didn't have cosmetics then. Chris Christensen, I remember like today, half a dog whitening shampoo with magic mist and half without. After bathing the dogs uh, was uh, four tones brighter. And the dog needs to be transported to the championship. Half of the dogs are different. Can you imagine? One side is four tones wa wider than the other. And then I think, oh my God, that's so cool. You don't see it until you apply it on your face. I know that it is good for the sore throat. My children and gra grandchildren have been using it since birth. Spraying into the throat instantly extinguishes it caught in the early period. It really extinguishes the inflammation very quickly because it kills the bacteria. But the use of cosmetics is something unrealistic. That's where we have a team of girls here in Lithuania company. A lot of us, we put it on cosmetics and on masks and on everything and we're very happy. These are our dogs bathing in ozone bath together with pure mist. We spray it in the eyes where, where we want to spray. And we're really very happy because it is a natural remedy. Don't be afraid. It doesn't cost 60 euros. How much does it cost? I don't know. It is uh, relatively cheap. A liter is cheaper, isn't it? Yes. The next measure we talked aloud, a lot. Uh, remember about one thing for the tear to be white and uh, another is how to catch a tear. This is a tool made of natural kaolin and it is used for catching tears. That means we catch wet tears. In the tear is white and does not get too wet, this remedy is not needed. But if you started tearing, uh, what uh, we're talking about, a change in hormones or teeth, you should just prevent it so that the tear would not flow so much. This should not be inserted into the channel.
because this will plug tear ducts. Doctors are already asking people to look at instructions because they just poke in the eye and imagine it will stop. That won't stop. We need to be prevented below the duct. It dries and catches those tears. This tool is used in conjunction with you, Torah Mist. We wash the eye and put it on that fixation. How much that fixation is needed depends on the dog. For puppies, we sometimes put it once a day. And for adult dogs, for me, example, um, Soko, once a week was enough. It really holds in place and everything is very good. Plus, 100% natural remedy. There are no impurities. So what is our care system? These are the three steps which we need to understand. They are very simple. But by learning and understanding these steps, you will have an understanding the importance of knowing what you put on your head. Because what you put on your head gets into your brain. And it depends on your brain how smart, effective you will be. And instead, you have to understand for sure. And I will tell you in simple words. So the first step, we have to clean up. Clean means how our hair is. Uh, there are fractures. We need to clean them. We have to clean without peroxides, uh, without rough things, because our hair will still dry and break. We have to gently clean with natural ingredients and open all those scales for the next product with function. The second step is function. Next shampoo or with keratin or with chi butter or with whatever. We let it. The job is to push the material inside. And the third step after rising the shampoo is to fix it. It means we wash and fix it with that so-called film, but not silicone, not plastic, but natural. Made of natural materials so that every hair is laminated, healthy and elastic. And don't forget that skin is also very important. Because of the skin, if there are chemical things like SLS, all of these go straight into the blood and then you have problems. And don't complain afterwards that the dogs don't get pregnant, that the spermides that ended quickly, that the uterus doesn't work that way and etc. There are bound things here and they are very important. Here we have put together the steps for you to understand. And as a result of all of this, what else are we using? We use Torah Pure Mist. Because it is definitely not expensive with us in Lithuania. And the liter is even cheaper and the Breeders Channel have even better discounts. Monica rhymes with you. Monica is showing how much misoko we have. 50. Okay, wait, in a word, we are closing and remembering that there is still room for use. We will share our scheme of how we use essential oils and why we use them. This is such a basic scheme. Now look, I will not bother you. I showed you the basics. The main slide is the most important. And at the bottom, cleaning is done. Every shampoo is described, you see? every tool. I will not read it to you. Here is your homework, your study, your investment in, the, in yourself. You have to learn to understand how this deep cleaning cleanses. Not only does it clean perfectly, it is suitable for sensitive skin, for shine and etc. You, ha you have to learn and read. We continue to clean with white coat, daily care. Next, what are the additional features? This is nourishment, moisturizing. Restoration, a rough coat increases in coat volume. Next, each product is described. And a rough coat. After a rough coat, increasing the volume. This is volumizing in jargon. 
It means increasing the volume, but with the natural means. We do not give any other things and recording the result. This is exactly the food. There are five products you can read about. See? And you'll say that's a lot of information, but look at what we did for you. See? Care system by coat type. Ta-da. Falling coat. Daily care, all colors. We have listed all the products. Did you see? We've just prepared a kit for you. White falling coats. Here. The template is ready. Preparation for exhibition is also ready. At the bottom, everything is written down uh, what needs to be done. Next, increase the volume. What does it mean? Rising coat. Bichon Spitz, fifth group. Everything in the coat goes up, please. The daily coat care formula is put together. We could still, well, but we won't chew everything here. Uh, there could have been references. Uh, but there would be quite laziness here. No, better search Torah online. I'm still thinking about what we can, what we can improve. To keep things simple, but here, look at what a fun thing we came up with. We increased the volume, daily care, white coats and preparation for exhibitions. And the rough coat, exactly the same. Daily care in all colors, white coats and preparation for exhibitions. Everything we chewed information for you. Described everything, study it, understand it, learn about it. I think it would not only benefit your pet. This will benefit you and your family members as you will definitely find a great deal very much. And how we run fast. How much time we're talking in total. Three hours. Oh my God. No, two. Oh, so not that much. Now, you know, I still have to say something because we've shown that we bought dogs with new technology. So I can say that very briefly. I want to introduce a new generation of brand new technology three in one. This is where three technologies come together. Ozone therapy, milky spa technology and massage. And hence, B.O.B. bubble ozone bath technology. What did that Tianita here with the with that Kika come up with again? I admit, I am a complete maniac and a person that seeks for the best result. I am a deep digger, practicing, testing and passing on our practice to others. And to this day, I decided to create a new machine together with technologists, together with specialists. This is a new machine with everything built in it. And that machine is now stuck in both containers in Singapore. And people are waiting in line. But this machine is no longer a bath. You know, it's just a beautiful carcass that's uh, coming so now. In fact, improved, nurtured, new, with new sensors, with everything new. It is a machine that solves skin and coat problems in care, but ensures the health of the animal. Here is a lot of discuss here too. But the main thing that comes to this place is that this consists of ozone therapy that consists of natural massage and consists of very expensive technology, which, which costs as much as the bath itself with ozone and with massage. The technology with grins water to nanoparticles and injects uh, with the right cosmetics gives the animal health through the skin and we gr have great results and really we've already sold several containers of those baths and people get great results so a little bit more about the baths what's going on what's going on this is the latest technology cleans out all dirt, straightens the coat, skin regeneration, protects, 
treats inflammation, helps to keep the coat healthy, elastic, improves the observation of uh, useful properties of products. You know, to me, if I were to read it now, I would say blowing bubbles, thinking nonsense. Does not know already what to do with the dog, where to put them, uh, what to do, and etc. But since I stood there myself, I saw the result, I looked and I worked with it for, for a year with this technology, and I can say that I am proud that we Lithuanians dare to release such a machine with engineers. And that machine solves a lot of issues. And I'll just show you. There are now five procedures that I think are sufficient to address the pet's issues. This is a routine procedure that we see first. It is the vitality, it is the moisturization, renewing, there is easy comb for combing and dermacomb. And I'll just show you a little bit. Here we have made a diagram uh, for you of how each procedure is done. And it clearly lists what the procedures are how many minutes to keep, how, what happens. We just give you our metallurgical material. We hide nothing. We, gi we give you the know-how, everything we have. Try it yourself. If you need it daily, if you need it daily between shows to keep your pet healthy, you can use. Energizing or vitality. Look at your puppies. This is my Lee. I see. If you need rapid weaning or, and code regrowth, even to treat alopecia, this procedure is even suitable for the treatment of alopecia. Then you use renewing. This is very good. It differs into two parts in that it is bathing preparation and bathing. Behold, we use renewing especially when the spitz starts after pregnancy. After pregnancy, but we sometimes have young puppies shed the, their puppy fluff. I call it like that because before they change coat. Alopecia. We have practical photos from around the world how it happened. This was with alopecia. And the same dog for two months later. And this is a dog at the current stage. Further, easy comb, especially for large mats of hair. The whole scheme is also, also written out. You can definitely study. This is how it looks. It can be combed out for both dogs and cats. Are Russian colleagues creation cats and Ukrainian cats, right, Monica? They bath cats and they are easily combed out and everyone is very satisfied. Further, this part is very strong and you need to know about it. This is dermocomb. Until we have problem, the whole world seems simple. But when those problems catch up, then we don't know what to do. Then we can throw huge money. We did this when we came up with that procedure. Both. When people were started coming to us for help. What to do, what to do. We just sat down, stared to analyze how our cosmetics, how our healing elixirs can also help. Here is a diagram of how to prepare and see how we dealt with these issues. There are huge problems. When dogs just get bold, are bold. Dead fossils and etc. And how they regenerate. For example, any crack, any dermatitis, which may not be of a severe origin, itching, allergic reactions, wound healing, seborrhea. We handle it precisely thanks to our BOB, technology machine combined with cosmetics and natural essential oils. But these are three separate topics. And this 
Dermacom is especially good uh, because uh, when there is such a baldness disorder, the lipid layers of the skin is very often disturbed, the oily surface layer. And it is with these procedures uh, that we suck it, uh, that we suck it again, rebuild, and still and still show many results of this topic. Anyway, who are Russian speakers on Friday to the Russian audience? To a large audience, I read about essential oils and their benefits to the animal body from our practice. This is a separate workshop. Very large material, very valuable. Join the House of Torah if you did not manage to write. Write to Monica, I want to attend the seminar. And she will send you a link. Friday from 10 p.m. there will be a seminar for Russian speakers because Russians are extremely active. I have an infinite number of followers. Many examples are given by very active people. And you know, Ukraine, Kazakhstan joins us. And people from Italy join in to listen to the seminar. Join us. You will definitely hear a lot of useful information. I can tell you this. The doctors didn't help all these dogs anymore. They were thrown out. People spent a lot of money and no one helped them. Here, for example, the second case, the second from the left, the Italians who paid... 600 or 700 euros, it did not work for nothing. Just with our treatment uh, regimen that we shared, we solved it with remotely and she has a great result. You will see soon. So our success story here, as a nine-year-old dog, you see from bald, dead follicles, scratching and etc., became completely healthy in January. We have the example of Vesto here. True, a very interesting thing with the example of Vesto. For the first time we published the story, people did not believe it and the owners called it and said it, you photoshopped this, right? This is how we believe, as they say, the Lithuanian success and sharing success stories. And now, those magical drops of our nature, the elixirs, that, uh, what are they? And why did we get into them? An infinite amount of work has been done, namely the seminar, but it will start uh, for the Russian speakers because I say they are very active, they want everything. How did it come about? Why did we use it? In short, that elixirs that we have material. These are the elixirs we use for daily care, 1, 2, and 4, which is now for growth, and for problematic questions, elixirs 3 and 4. And there is uh, the first elixir described, best from nature for hair, hair growth. You see, 7 are natural oils and 5 are essential oils. Read about each one. Look, there are icons. The hair growth simulation, deep moisturizing, reduces hair loss, and etc. And I can say, our girls, women working in the office, friends, they use the elixirs and feel perfect. They have a lot of hair. Hair grows back. And really, we don't see a simpler solution. We take quality blends from nature and use them and we don't need any chemicals. We use the same for our animals because they deserve the best. This is the elixir number one, Svayunas, is on the screen, foams himself in the bath and performs the procedure. Elixir number two. I will not repeat myself. You see the oils on the left are natural. On the right side, essential oils. What are they doing? Here's the result. Success stories. Here is a very interesting thing from Croatia. Som sometimes we don't pay attention to such points. Huh? We don't pay attention. It seems, uh, what's the big deal? Here is a skin fungus. 
and after changing the food within two to three weeks, uh, they went out of normal skin. Pay attention to your dog's skin. It needs to be healthy. It cannot be red, no acne, nothing. This indicates the health status of your dog. The skin only shows what is inside and you have to understand that. Next, elixir number three. If there is any problem with the skin, itching started to itch, it is not clear what was eaten or itching or wound or some kind of dermatitis, then know first what you put is this oil. The usage is written down. If anything is unclear, write to Monica. She will definitely provide all the information, but you will solve a lot of issues instead. People who had problems with uh, sebor hair for themselves personally on the head resolved it with this. I can say, my daughter may be angry with me, but our grandson also has dermatitis. When the heat occurs, heating has dermatitis. And when that heating season started again, she says, what to do? I says, use elixir number three. A two-year-old child is taking a bath. We are dripping an elixir and we have no problems. That if I am already letting my grandchildren through it, I believe me. Just try it and you'll understand how they work. Because a lot of people go to the doctors and pay huge money and etc. But it is a concrete uh, gathered by our specialists and technologists. Even turn to scientists to find out what helps. And all these ingredients help to regenerate, solid the skin, fix up the whole epidermis. And here are our customers. Elixir number four. This is for growth, which will become elixir number four because there is a rebranding. Everything is described in the same way. This is the Italian version I mentioned. After three months, you see on the right side what a dog is like and how he suffered until then. Thank you to the owner for her patience. She scattered all my brains as much as she could. I'm really very happy that there are people who fight so badly for their pet and that's how they do everything so that they would be okay. And I have such clients from both America and Italy who do everything for their pet. Sometimes I get angry that I don't have time to answer, but for that, I try to put uh, together all the materials so that when that material was translated into Russian, into English, we would have material that we could share with colleagues. Because in fact, we help animals deal with many cases. And yet, by rebuilding the coat, the whole foregrowth system is created. There is shampoo, conditioner, there is a leave-in spray, there are essential oils and how to use them. There is a whole system that helps to regenerate the coat in the same way. You see what an animal was like and months later what it became. Our essentials with vegetable and essential oils, the whole range of shampoos, conditioners. And we came back to the end again, when we remember or not, that the first and most important point, 80% is proper nutrition. Proper nutrition includes both supplements and treats. We have sorted the treats very, very dosed. Further, 20% still account for daily and veterinary care. We will not run away from it here. We bath ourselves, we clean our eyes ourselves, we cut our nails ourselves, and that is necessary, and you can't do anything about it. Really, that discipline, if you correspond and strive for yourself, I guarantee you that you will have a great result. 
The most important thing, first of all, do not fool yourself. Do not lie to yourself. Just refine what you have to do. Write down what goals you are pursuing and you will really succeed. But if you trick and deceive yourself that a little carrot is needed, a little potato is needed, a little is needed from the table, then you will make a little box out of the dog and then it will look like a litter box. It won't get far anywhere here. As for cosmetics, I think you will have something to think about. Think well, think about today. Because in fact, the knowledge we have and we have put in into our products, it is very infinitely deep. And if you are Russian speaking, I would like to join the, and you would like to join the House of Toro group and listen to the seminar on Friday at 10 o'clock. It will be another strong piece, a tribute given to the kinologist. We will share our experience, which we precisely as we are working with essential oils for healing in our kennel, preventative care of the dogs will pay tribute. There will be definitely a lot of knowledge. That's probably Misako's story, isn't it? Firstly, the story of Misoko. I will tell you Misoko's story with a little bit uh, of a backup story. The whole story took place at the World Cup, which took place in Holland. And we were then getting ready to start with a very large team. There were Italians coming to help a group of Italians. A group of Russians came to help and then there was our group. We really placed a lot of dogs, maybe 17 dogs. And I remember very well when I trimmed Misoko. I got him ready like a real king. I never enjoyed sleeping with the group. My husband and I slept separately from them to get rested so that I wouldn't feel the excitement because I really need to concentrate. And I left Misoko. And the day I stood in front of Misoko and thought, God, was I drunk yesterday or, or what? I could not understand how, why he looked so strange and apathetic. I trimmed him in a strange way. I thought, but that doesn't happen to me, right? But I mean, you can see how tired I am. We went out into the ring. We won the world champion first. We were very happy. And somehow I decided that Misoko was very anxious because then his eyes started to tear very hard, so brown, everything was so bad. A month later... Two weeks later, I don't remember a colleague approaching me timely and saying, Do you know the story of Misoko? I say, Yeah. He says, When you closed the door and you went to the hotel, my good staff decided team members to let the animals out uh, of the enclosures to have the freedom to run before the ring, before the show, before the World Cup. But it was the evening. And when they were gathering them back, they suddenly saw that one dog was missing. Everyone jumped out of their houses, imagine, at night in the dark, almost 12 a.m., everyone jumps out of the houses and start looking for the dog, Misoko. The most important dog that disappeared. And he disappeared because a window was open that was up to the ground and the dog just came out. Holland fields forest and what is in Netherlands camels so uh, a herd of people speaking different languages ran out and run in all directions because Misoko is gone it takes an hour a kilometer to one side a kilometer to the other side hand on their heads they realize that the dogs the the dog has gone her favorite and then somehow one hears that something is splashing in the channel she sees misoko to understand the canals in holland uh it was midsummer the water was green and you can't just go and pick up the dog it is two meters down 
They held each other like the, in the movie and pulled that dog out. But the fact that they found the dog and pulled it out is one side of the coin. Because the other side of the coin is that the dog is all green. Deep cleaning. And he's drank water. That is, a group of people poured everything they had, bought it all night because there were not one, two or five layers there. And they all dried him and held their peace and shed their ears so that no man would know. I was agreed that no one would tell me what, hap what had happened. Clearly, I told them a piece of my mind for that. Because if I had known that Misoko had drunk that water, I would have done the right therapy right away. I learned that, I don't remember, two weeks or a month later, there was a huge inflammation in the intestines and the huge tears ran away. I pulled the dog for three months. This is the story of Misoko. When you want your puppy to swim in the waters, close lakes, and etc., he will just get drink up in all sorts of obscure things, and you will just have a lot of problems that healthy food is not going to solve, nor good care, nor anything. This is the story of Misoko. And now for the questions. Can the microzeogen supplement be given during pregnancy? Also interested in whether it can be given to babies. The answer, yes. The microzeogen has no side effects, suitable for all age groups. Uh, it will remove toxins, improve food intake. The body will be alkyne uh, because it attracts, uh, extracts acids, makes the body alkyne. This means that all processes will be started in the animal. We use, it, we use it from the birth to puppies if they have diarrhea or during the period of tooth formation, growth, teething period and when needed. An overdose may be the only thing that will cause constipation. Need to understand this. Then... Uh, if you can, you give more microzeogen. You have to give more water. That's it. Yes, it does not affect the pregnancy at all. Yes, it does. Toxins are extracted. Lactation is better. But there are no bad ones. Let's read what smart farmers do on farms. They give zeolite so that moms have more milk. Yes. To make the fetus more developed. Because when you pull out the toxins, even if there are parasites, they don't kill the parasites. They pull out the toxins of the parasites. And instead, even with parasites, it can be... Uh, it can give the fetus a good influence. Also, a microzeogen can even extract salmonella, cure it. It does not kill, but it, it extracts the toxins. We use the microzeogen even when we are sick, because when a person is sick, no matter what's the cause, the release of toxin happens and you pull it out. When I asked Pavlich himself, I already mentioned, uh, but you may not have captured it, um, an overdose of it, it's impossible. His recommendation, use it with every meal, so that even the toxins in the food are extracted. And I personally use it in the mornings and evenings. Half of a teaspoon into a glass of water, drink on an empty stomach in order to pull out the toxins. It alkalizes the body. This is one of the main alkalis. Is it possible for a puppy, Bichon Frise, to change coat color, 
turn red in the back area due to the food supplements used such as yeast, seaweed and how to remove it now. Look, we initially agreed on the following. I told you, I am a breeder who has some experience in the kennel with my own team and I share my experience. If you found useful material while listening to the seminar, I'm very pleased. However, I really can analyze what Algae and what you gave and etc. What would I do in your particular case? I would do the following. I would first start with the microzeogen to extract the toxins. I would give the feed with white fish and I would run the elixir number three if it is scratching to regrow faster and extinguish the focus. That's it. But I still wonder what age that puppy is. Because B vitamin straightens the pigment, it's there in the nose. Also, if there is a young puppy with those pigment spots, there is an interesting case here. If a young dog, uh, there may be a growing thing there, just the coat pigment is too reinforced. I can personally tell. I've seen what's going on on groups. One person runs to Amazon, buys some seaweed. He succeeded in something, but maybe good that he succeeded. Perhaps the product might also help. And he is an advisor as a specialist brings to the group and a hundred people are buying these things. I personally never do this until I try 100, 150 tests. You see, don't you? I don't do that. I can't. I'm responsible for the result of what people will have. I can't say I am a professional this case. I don't know that story. But I know how to extract toxins. I know how to give an anti-allergenic food. I know what it consists of. I know what a treat is. I know what cosmetics are, their effects, and what substances need to work. This is a formula I know and I can give away. This was not tested on a hundred dogs. It's been tested on thousands already while we're working because that circle rotates and so on. And now it is already used by many countries in the world. Just use all this experience of ours and have a fantastic result. Do Bravecto tablets have any effect on the appearance of white-coated dogs? These tablets should be handled with care as it is a veterinary chemical that lasts for three months. This means we know that the white breeds are more sensitive and it needs to be used very consciously because it is very slowly eliminated from the body. But as far as I have encountered it, if, if there are no such extraction problems, the coat and tearing were not affected by the Bravecto. But instead of this, I keep coming back to a very, very important topic that we need to have a general understanding and a grasp of what a white dog is and what an allergic, allergic dog is. For example, in my practice, in 30 years of working with the white dogs, a white dog has a potential vag allergy. That, for example, when vaccinated with a regular vaccine, the dog becomes blind and not one and neurological things begin. I would always look at a white dog very carefully because neurology can start very quickly. Vaccination can affect very quickly. I have two cases where a dog is blind. I have two cases where a dog has died and carried the vaccine differently than that typically of another litter. Therefore, always feel responsible for any chemicals intervention. Do not forget one thing that is very important with ticks and fleas. 
Every year, thicks and fleas mutate and there is no 100%. That is why we are promoting three level three levels of protection because there is no 100% protection, you know? If you are lucky to have a colleague sitting in the forum and your neighbor, congratulations. But the other thing is when you damage the liver or something because you haven't cut it, you don't know if it is damaged or not. Then there will be other things. It is always a good idea to think about the variety you have before taking a chemical element. Because probably wouldn't really apply that to a child. This is to ask yourself how important that pet is to you. In any case, you need to make sure he is clinically healthy. Sometimes we don't uh, see those health things visually. In both cases, where the question of blindness was raised and etc., it was recognized uh, that this is something common in allergic dog. This may be one, uh, one case in a thousand, but it is. And it happened in Lithuania. What do you recommend for white-coated dog dental care? How do we share this? Because there are treats, uh, there will be new lines. I am old-fashioned. I will say this. Since you bath your puppy every week, you put a toothbrush, a toothpaste, there are very good fine things nowadays and you brush the teeth normally with a toothbrush. If your dog resists, it is a matter of training and you have to do it. 20 years ago, we brushed all of our dog's teeth and there were no problems. Now it is a new fashion to have great teeth without brushing them. Try this yourself and in a week I will see what you look like. And in a month, I would really like to look at your teeth. It's me being such an old cut wolf and uh, I think we have just uh, put in a brush and brushed the teeth with every bath. Plus, I've seen there are very good remedies where water is added to the bowl and then there are chews. But to have a, such a vision that the chew will affect your gums, well, take one. Test it on yourself and try not to brush your teeth with that uh, dog for a week. And try to scratch yourself and see how you feel. So you have the answer. Sorry for my rudeness, but unfortunately it is what it is. Teeth need to be cleaned mechanically. Yes, anyway, three things can be combined. These are hard shoes, such as hooves that mechanically scrape plaque. The dog does it itself. Then clean with a brush. And gel brushes poured into the water to reduce the, reduce the bacterial shell when the, the dog eats. And then the third thing, if the dog doesn't chew and we fail to brush, then you come to the vet every three months. We use an ultrasound tool or a mechanical pick without anesthesia. Without anesthesia, yes, that's correct. Because with anesthesia, be especially careful, especially with small breeds. Because for you to understand, for example, I will tell you one statistic. We have 10 anesthetics for Pomeranian Spitz in our kennel. 10 dogs anesthetic simply because each animal is individual. Does every doctor you go to for anesthesia really know your dog and know the whole family history and how it carries throughout anesthesia? After anesthetic cleaning, it often affects the coat. Yes, and also it is visible on the eyes after anesthesia when the dogs wake up. 
dog to clean without anesthesia because I don't allow for dogs to be under anesthesia during teeth cleaning. If there is already trouble, you need to pull the teeth that is on the other side of the cone. But brushing your teeth with anesthesia is what I think is negligence. Here's my opinion. Sorry for it is very rude. What do you use for the white breed against sticks and fleas? It is a very individual question here. My tools are perhaps different from Yanita's. I combine them because we go on heights where there is tall grass. I use two tools for this. One of them is an ultrasound pedant, which acts as a repellent, thus masking the dog from parasites. And the other remedy is drops that are dripped on the neck. They work only in the fat layer, which means that they do not pass into the internal organs. And then even if the tick sees the dog and tries to attack him itself, it dries up because it doesn't release toxins into the body. This is two level of protection. Also, if we are somewhere in Pape, uh, where the forest is right next door, we also use the third level, which means praise, which also have a repellent effect. There may be essential sprays or there are some other plant-based. This is my experience here. What are you need us? And in the kennel, we use it this way. The first thing is that we always spray the area with natural remedies, namely antiparasitic agents. The second thing in any case, without a stronghold, it can't stay. It can't say which chain anyone walks in. We're really fulfilling it completely. You always feel that full circle. And I personally, when I am in Pape, because I spend the summers and there is a swamp, it is very scary. In the past, when we didn't put all those pedants, it was... 15, 18 ticks a day. And now, during the season, one dog catches one, two ticks. Anyway, we put pedants and we use the natural ones that I spray. Because I can say that 100% of all the measures work, I really need to put to work. Because ticks are changing. And when talking to a medical doctors, even on the war side of hospitals and etc., you know the same is true with people. Ticks climb, it's a problem. They change, they mutate, and you can't do anything here. The world is changing. Is forest a color recommended for white coated dogs? I would not recommend Foresto for any of our dogs because the color needs to be on the dog of all times so that the active substances can affect the organism. We bath Bichons or Maltese every week. This means that we have to remove it every week. We destroy that layer of fat that contains the active ingredients. We put it back on it. This is just a very impractical thing for the owner and uh, then the dog is not fully protected because the active substances does not pass onto the body and then we just wash it out. And plus, again, since it's a fairly potent veterinary drug, we don't know how particular puppy can react to it. I hope I replied. If the tear ducts are blocked, what to do and how to treat. If the tear ducts are blocked, the only beginning of the treatment is their cleaning and then monitoring. If they accumulate and stain or are clear patency. So firstly, to treat clogged ducts, you need maintenance. 
But here, at this point, it's probably very important to mention that it has to be done by a reliable eye specialist. Because I have personal experience, also because a lot of people write that the vets who don't have experience with this, they punctuate those ducks or diagnose nonsense of all kinds. Degenerative ducks, no ducts, uh, too narrow, too swollen, too allergic, some nonsense sticks out completely. You should go to an experienced normal eye doctor and flush the ducts. Yes, it has to be a, a physician or experienced doctor or someone who has really good understanding of the white breeds. The questions are over. All participants are very grateful and looking forward to the seminar of cosmetics. We can share about cosmetics. We have a very good material and great deal of experience with essential oils. It is a natural protection, a natural treatment in breeding. When, when raising puppies, we use a lot. Well, a lot of other materials will be like that. There are two seminars. If you want to hear it, write to us. And when we collect at least 70 people who want to participate, but not the same surnames. Right, I want uh, such a seminar and we will organize it and do it. In fact, it's fun to know if you learn something new. It's a lot of fun if you discovered something. You have tons of material attached. If you need it, it uh, will remain. Contact Monica, she will give you a link. She will most likely go to the YouTube channel for that material and ask. Only communication, only the exchange of knowledge can lead to some kind of experience in which you will solve your questions. We are open, uh, we have nothing to hide. We really invest a lot in knowledge and we dig deep and I think we can in many cases help you discover what you might not discover for a long time or never will. And that communication, you see, will, with breeders from all over the world, with the vet doctors, with specialists, with doctors of science that give us a great deal of knowledge and many opportunities. And we're so incitable, we need everything. We need even better. We need even faster. And we are completely naturalists. It is in this place that we want our pets not only to receive healthy food, they are uh, to be cared for by best means, by the safest means, and so on. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you really know where to look, both me and Yanita, that there is a Toro Kennel Group or vet office and what be healthy, trust the manufacturer. Yes, because the manufacturer has tried everything through its experience. And if you want to enrich your knowledge more, then I recommend jo joining the House of Toro, which is a Russian-speaking and English-speaking group. And there is a a lot of good technical stuff out there. And if you scroll, there are fantastic workshops on reproduction about a lot of interesting things. Lots of good uh, factual material. If you want to dig deep, then there is a lot of good material, a lot of good professionals from all over the world. And we really built such a community there a very interesting, already professional community that wants to dig deep. Thank you to all of you. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for listening to us for a long time. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked it, support it, press like. Thanks.